Imagine a world where all of your actions, from jaywalking to your online purchases, affected a personal score. High scores could lead to perks such as faster internet service, improved school options for your children, or favorable loan conditions. Conversely, a low score could result in being blacklisted, which could affect your ability to book flights, secure loans, or even buy property. Now, while this sounds like an episode of Black Mirror, it is a reality for people in China, where in 2014, their government announced a social credit system, which intended to standardize the assessment of citizens and businesses' economic and social reputation. It's a system that monitors, evaluates, and influences behavior, rewarding conformity to societal norms and penalizing deviations. Starting with the positives, a social credit system could theoretically encourage and incentivize positive social behavior. If good behavior, such as volunteering, recycling, or participating in community events, led to tangible rewards, such as lower interest rates on loans or priority access to services, it could foster a more socially responsible and engaged citizenry. Moreover, it could serve as a comprehensive tool for law enforcement and security, helping to maintain public order and safety. By deterring antisocial or illegal behaviors through the threat of social credit deductions, it might reduce crime rates or other undesirable activities. But a system like this also comes with serious potential drawbacks, as demonstrated by the Chinese example. Consider the case of Liu Hu, a Chinese journalist who found himself blacklisted after publishing articles that exposed corruption. His low credit score affected his ability to travel, purchase property, and even impacted his child's schooling options. This illustrates how such a system could be manipulated to suppress dissent and control citizens, leading to a significant reduction in personal freedoms. Imagining a social credit system in the United States, we are faced with profound questions. Could we, as a society, accept a constant monitoring and evaluation of our actions? Would we be comfortable knowing that our life choices or even unpopular opinions could have severe consequences? Moreover, who decides what is good or bad behavior? There's a risk that such a system could be used to enforce a homogenous set of values, stifling diversity and individuality. While the potential benefits of a social credit system are apparent, the risks and challenges it presents are also significant. As we move forward in an increasingly digital world, it's important that we engage in these discussions. The Chinese social credit system offers us a glimpse into a potential future that is both intriguing and alarming. It's a reminder that as we stride forward into the world of technology, we must do so with caution, ensuring that our steps forward do not infringe upon the values we hold dear. But what are your thoughts? Do you enjoy the idea of a social credit system? Or do you think that we should stay far, far away from it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.